Howdy y'all. Hey, uh, Lori and I are here on the Crystal River this morning. We're doing a little camping. There's a, I don't know if you can tell how clear that water is, but it definitely earns its name of the Crystal River. Coming down out of the mountains. I don't know if it's still snow melt this late in the year or not, but here's our campsite over here. We're van, uh, well, cargo camper camping. Here's our little campsite. We got Ouija pent up because she's crazy for chipmunks this morning, but she's being treated all right. Here's breakfast. We got a half pound of bacon and some cowboy coffee. There's some thick grounds in there, let me tell you what. Lori's over here working on the, I think we're having uh, breakfast tacos this morning, so she's cutting up the avocado and getting it ready. Here's our little campsite over here. We got a fire ring. We had a nice fire last night. And uh, that's in case we're ready to take a shower. We got some water we can heat up and put in there and then bring it inside. And Here's the, the shower. We can either take an outdoor shower or an indoor shower. We use that black bucket for our shower basin. It's a little bit messy, but uh, not, not too bad. Here's the, the kitchen inside. There's our little cupboard, so to speak. We try to keep our dry goods over here, maybe some canned goods, some libations, whatever over here on this side. But uh, one of the things we did different is I cut this piece of plywood out and uh, now we got a little ability to make a leaf between these two bunks. And uh, we throw this bunch of pallets and stuff right down in here. And so we have some room so we're not, we don't feel like we're falling off the bunks quite so bad. And then the other thing you probably saw or may have seen is that we put a window in here. There was a pain in the Yazoo because we had to yank out all of this plywood. I'd like to do it over here on this side too, but the plywood goes all the way down to the end down there, which means I got to pull out all of this cabinetry and stuff. So not too big of a deal, but anyway, we had our little light last night uh, in case we needed it. We put a little bucket right down here for our chamber pot. This is a, a short leaf and only comes to about our knees right here. So we have a little uh, green bucket that we put down there. So it's a pickle bucket. We can pee, it, pee in that at, uh, during the night. So we empty it into the, the vault toilets in the morning. But anyway, we got our screen on the back. So we can leave this open during the day. It doesn't build up heat, but at night there's a big uh, bear presence here. Every campsite has a little bear locker. And I'll show you the bear locker over here. It's really big. We got a pretty good sized ice chest. I don't know if it says how many quarts it is. I'll look. Uh, it doesn't really say. But anyway, it's pretty good size. And uh, we put all that stuff, lock it all down in here at night. So anyway, that's the campsite. And uh, we're going to go up to Crystal Mill this morning. Hopefully I'll get a little footage of that and uh, we'll be able to show you. The trail to Crystal Mill leads you right next to Beaver Lake. And also you'll see Lizard Lake on the way up there. It's a really beautiful emerald green kind of a lake with some big boulders at the bottom of it. Now the trail itself that's going down to Crystal Mill is a four wheel drive only. It's really narrow so you got to have little tiny turnouts to get past another oncoming uh, vehicle of which there are many on weekends. Not so bad perhaps uh, during the weekday but you'll still have to pass some. And it runs alongside Crystal River and it's very steep in some places it goes down to the river. You can kind of see it between the trees down there. Look at this mountain here, man. It is just sheer rock. I mean, just one giant megalith. Check out this old Crystal River. Working these rocks over here. They're really cutting into them there. It's got them undercut pretty good. Well, we finally made it to our destination, Crystal Mill, one of the most photographed places in Colorado. And you can see why. It is beautiful. 
What a pool down there, eh? Quite the fall. Now we're gonna head on out. Hard to leave this place though. It's amazing. Beautiful. Thunder and river. Here we are in the town of Crystal. It's kind of a ghost town. There's a couple people I think it actually summer here though. There's somebody over there working on their ice chest. That might be the post office down there with the flag. Lori's got to take a picture of some of these old cabins here. Check out this cabin here with the Stephen Steele got a little lace in the window. <laughs> there must be a frilly ghost lives up in there. Thanks for joining us today on our trip to Crystal Mill and Bogan's Flats Campground near Marble. It's a beautiful place. Hope you can get up here soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Happy travels! Thank you.